A softball coach admits he had sexual contact with a teen player, and today a jury found a St. Louis County Training Center where some of that abuse happened will not be held responsible. It is a case only First Alert 4 investigates has been following for months. And investigator Susan L. Corey has more on what happened in court. Moments after the jury gave their verdict, we heard the judge call this a difficult case and say that no one doesn't believe the Jane Doe who's going by that to protect her identity. It took the jury a little over an hour to reach their verdict. Ultimately, they said that Bullpen Brothers training facility wasn't negligent when Doe's softball coach admitted that he had sexual contact with her one of his teenage players who he was teaching at the facility. We don't have any comment. Jerry Deacon's lawyers walk her out of court. Are you happy with the verdict and the jury's decision? Well, we thank the jury for their service. It's a very tough case for both sides. So I don't think we're going to say we're happy, but our client didn't do anything wrong. So it was the right result. Deacon owns Bullpen Brothers training facility in Ellisville, known for rentable batting cages. The center was named in a civil lawsuit. A young girl going by Jane Doe to protect her identity claims her softball coach, Aaron Byington, sexually assaulted her. According to the suit, the abuse started when Doe was 17. Byington was 36. You think it's okay for you as a coach to have a sexual relationship with one of your female players? Repeat the question again. Last year, First Alert yeah. 4 investigates exposed sworn video testimony from Byington and another coach, Alex Walters. Yeah. Both admit they had sexual contact with Doe, which she testified was abuse. According to the lawsuit, only Byington assaulted Doe at Bullpen Brothers, which he would sometimes do while stretching her in plain sight. And stretching her, you would rub your body up against, press your body up against yes, her. The judge didn't allow cameras in the courtroom. Doe's lawyers argued Bullpen Brothers allowed Byington to be alone with Doe, including giving him a key to stay after hours and following her into a closet in front of staff. When Deacon took the stand, she said she never knew what Byington did to this teen player. She also admitted her facility didn't have any rules to help prevent potential predators from sexually abusing kids. Any policy changes happening at Bullpen Brothers after this? Uh, we don't have any comment any further. Appreciate your time. The jury didn't find Bullpen Brothers civilly responsible, meaning they don't have to pay damages. Ms. Deacon? Further comment. The jury spoke with Doe's lawyers left court without a word. They're now 20 year old client in tears, saying all along what she wanted is to make sure what she went through doesn't happen to anyone else. As far as what's next, Jane Doe has a pending civil lawsuit against the two coaches, and it also includes some of the places where she says the sexual abuse happened. As far as a criminal case, Doe did report this to St. Louis County Police. They've been investigating the case for almost two years now, but neither coach has been criminally charged. We're going to keep following up with police to see what the status is of that case. In St. Louis County, Susan L. Corey, First Alert 4 Investigates. Well, Jane Doe's lawyers did send us a statement saying, quote, the goal here was to protect young athletes from sexual abuse. The jury disagreed about a training facility's duty to protect. It was all on record at trial. Jane Doe is disappointed. Her goal is to protect other young athletes in St. Louis. Training facilities was rejected by the jury.